better close your room. The living room would not be a dumping ground like the old place was. Did you not hear her? Okay, she kind of scares me. Yeah, she's scary. Kelly needs a new best friend. Not bad, right? It's great. We walk boldly into undiscovered country, plant a flag, and start ordering people around. Do you want to go on a date with me? It's invigorating. And terrifying. Like a date date? Yeah, you know, restaurant, candlelight, bottle of wine. At the end of the night, I try to take your clothes off. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Would be a date. Duncan Paley, age eight, recently diagnosed with aortic valve disease from infectious endocarditis. He's scheduled for a Ross procedure today. There's a note from his pediatrician. Duncan! Duncan, get back! Duncan! Duncan! Go! Hey, I'm gonna be in the OR till seven. Is eight too late for dinner? No, but if you need to reschedule or cancel. Come on, are you kidding? I made a reservation at Canto. I even gamed out an outfit. We are doing this. indignant by how they're not allowed to be on their specialties anymore. They don't have specialties. They should be grateful. They're even allowed in the... Are you listening to me? I'm going on a date with Erica Hahn. And, uh, that's awkward. Because, uh, she's a colleague and because she's an attending and because she's a she. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? We're going to pretend this didn't happen. We need to have rules. What? Rules. We, we need rules. Because it's undiscovered country. And maybe... Maybe it'll be the best vacation either of us has ever had, but it's mysterious and dark, and there should be rules. I'm sorry. What the hell are you talking about? I'm not sure I'm ready to go there. <laughs> Me neither. I... We can take it slow. Maybe... Just first base. Okay. Woo, okay, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Finish my wine. <sighs> I'm gonna look at the menu for a minute while your blood pressure drops back down to normal. Erica. Maybe second base, too. If only to be near you. We like to think we're independent. Loners. Mavericks. That all we need to do our jobs is an OR, a scalpel, and a willing body. Is Yang on call tonight? Uh, yeah. Why do you think it's so clean in here? <laughs> but the truth is, not even the best of us can do it alone. Surgery, like life, is a team sport. I just say, the whole taking it slow thing, Best idea ever. <laughs> it really takes the pressure off. Mm. Yeah, we can just you know, hang out without all the, the expectations. Why rush things? Exactly. And eventually, you've got to get off the bench and decide 
What team are you batting for? My whole life, my whole adult life, I have been with men. And it always felt, you know, fine, good, but I never. Not like this. <laughs> this is like needing glasses. <laughs> Am I blinded you? No. <laughs> when I was a kid. I would get these headaches, and I went to the doctor, and they said that I needed glasses. I didn't understand that. It didn't make sense to me because I could see fine. And then I get the glasses, and I put them on, and I'm in the car on the way home, and suddenly I yell. <laughs> because the big green blobs that I had been staring at my whole life, <laughs> they weren't big green blobs. <laughs> they were leaves on trees. I could see the leaves. And I didn't even know I was missing the leaves. I didn't even know that leaves existed. And then, leaves. You are glasses. <laughs>